Hello my convicts and convict cats, here's the design, the cup of convict bringing you guys and gals another tech tutorial. So this is the tech tutorial for our good friend George, who needed some help playing Tomb Raider, the classic old school Tomb Raider, on Steam, on PC, using a controller and not keyboard and mouse. As you know, there's many games out there on Steam that will not allow controller support, so you kind of have to do certain things in order to get your controller to work on Steam. So this is for you, George. Hopefully we can help you out. Probably one of our oldest of convicts to join us at the age of around about 50. Uh, I do apologize if I'm not allowed to say that, but I just wanted to mention that because that is amazing. That is really cool. I salute you and I'm sure my convicts do for still gaming even around that age. I hope that I continue to game as far as that age as well. That would be amazing. So I'm glad you enjoyed and I'm glad you got in contact with us to obviously get some help and support on there. So all you need to do is load up Steam. You'll get something like this. Normally you'll just get what's in the store, what's featured there, such as like this. And what you need to do, George, is you need to go up here to big picture mode, which is this arrow here, and click on big picture mode. I do apologize if that's really loud. But once you get to big picture mode, you can actually plug in an Xbox controller or PS4 controller, whichever you want to use. Now, I don't have an Xbox controller here with me, but it's the same idea. So I've actually got my NAC unplugged in, but when you actually go to big picture mode and you press any of your buttons, you can see I'm now controlling with my NAC on and not uh, my keyboard and mouse or anything like that. If I use keyboard and mouse, it'd be an arrow. If I use controller, it just moves about, as you can see there. So what you need to do in order to get Tomb Raider set up for you is go up here to the top, go to the settings, click on there. You want to then go to controller settings. You want to click on controller settings. You want to then go to the configuration of what you are getting support from, either using PlayStation, Xbox, Switch Pro, or generic gamepad, whichever one you are using. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, my computer is already finding out that I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller. So that is what I'm going to add it on here. So just go to configuration support for this and press on that. If you're using Xbox, obviously press Xbox, generic pads, use generic pads, and so on and so forth. So once you've done that, you can go here and go to calibrate or identify if you having any problems. You shouldn't have any issues on there. And just click on preferences. You can turn rumble mode on and off, change the color of your light bar, anything like that. Click Submit. So once you've done that part, press Circle to go back or whatever button it is you're using to go back. And then you can go here to say Base Configurations. So you want to click on this and you want to then choose what you want to use here. So as you read here, it says when you're not playing a game, your Steam controller will use these configurations. Big picture, configuration applies to the various controls within big picture mode, web browsing, and on-screen keyboard. And Steam bo button code co configuration will be applied while you're holding the Steam button. This allows you to uh, go to accessible across all platforms and games and applications. So this is global controls that makes it for everything. So you could click on that one. And as you can see, it's found my guide for my controller here. Now, at this point, I can choose any of these buttons on here that I want to play with, if I want to. Or I can press square and go here. Now, basically, at this point, what you can do is you can choose recommended for that particular game, if there is any. You can go to personal, which are the ones that you've set up yourself. You can go to friends if you've got any friends, uh, a configuration to the community. And then you've got community based ones here where you can go down and people have made up their own or they've made a style that works with exactly the way it used to be in the game. So because you've got it set up, George, on here, you should, when you go to community ones, have ones for Tomb Raider already. You've got to have the game installed in order for these to pop up for that particular game. Because I don't, it's only giving me their variations of what they've got under the guide button called basic configuration on there. 
If you don't want to do that and you want to set up your own, you can just go on here and say, for instance, go to a button and say, right, I want this to be and then just choose whatever button on here. I'll use my mouse because that's going to be annoying. And then you just can select maybe I want it as F2 and it will change it to F2, so on and so forth. Once you've done that, click done. And that's all you need to do in order to do that. Go back, select your game through the library on big picture mode. And then go on and play your favorite games. As you can see, these are some of the games I've currently got on my PC at the moment and as you can see here for like Battlegrounds it's only keyboard and mouse I would have to do the remaps or choose one of the settings in order to be able to use it on here so hopefully that's helped you out George so just quickly to go over and recap it once again for you make sure that first of all you go to big picture mode which I'm just going to exit out of now so I exit big picture mode so make sure you go here to the little two-way arrow. You click on big picture mode. Then once you've got on here, go to settings. Plug your controller in and obviously use your controller or mouse and keyboard, however you want to do it. Go to controller settings. Make sure you select the correct controller for you, which I'm using PlayStation or the Narcon version one is actually what I'm using at the moment, which also works as you can see here. So you can use Narcon one as well. Click back, go to base configurations, go to Steam button called configuration because that's generic across the whole entire thing. Browse configs, go to community, choose the community one. If you don't want a community one, then obviously go to the one that you want, it's like templates. You've got templates here. These are the ones that I've added in, as you can see, Dead by Daylight, Gamepad. You can set up your own version of it if you want to as well, which all you have to do is just go here, just change any of these buttons to whatever buttons you want it to be mapped on the PC, and that's it. That's all you have to do. If this has helped you out at all, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap the notification bell to be notified of all my videos, and you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or convictettes. And yes, it is I, the Kappa convict. I'm signing out, and as always, I salute you, my convicts and convictettes, and George, and hopefully we will see you in future videos. Bye for now.